Nearly one month after hackers shut down the Dallas Central Appraisal District in a ransomware attack, DCAD says it is still more than a week away before it can launch a new limited website. Fox Wars' Lori Brown live with that. Lori. Lori, the attack on the Dallas Central Appraisal District shut down the system's servers, email, and website. And while some employee information was compromised, the spokeswoman says all of the resident information was public anyway. The Dallas Central Appraisal District has experienced a cyber attack. That's the message callers to the Dallas Central Appraisal District are still receiving after a ransomware attack November 8th. Cheryl Jordan, Director of Community Relations, says DCAD hopes to have it resolved in a couple more weeks. We were hacked and our data is is been compromised. We can't we don't have access to email, our computer system, um, our website, all of our computer electronic information is down. This was already an extraordinary year for DCAT, with soaring property values leading to a flood of appraisal protests. Market values are up in Dallas County and North Texas, and so we raised values, and because of that, people protested. Well, we had a record number of protests, over 200,000 protests. Uh, we weren't able to get through all of those protests, but we did hear 95% of the most of DCAD's work was completed for the year, but there are several thousand property owners in the county whose tax bills may be delayed because of the attack. That's because our system is shut down. Dr. Murat Kantar Jaolo, the director of UT Dallas's Data Security and Privacy Lab, supports DCAD's decision to not communicate with the hackers, as some government agencies have done. Supported. This is like uh, paying ransomware for kidnapping type of scenarios, and when you start paying, it becomes profitable. Not paying is the right approach. Painful one, but I believe it's the right approach. Dr. Kantar Jaolo says it is important for entities to have protected backup systems, so if an attack happens, they don't have to skip a beat, and he considers it crucial for local and regional government agencies to be prepared. Every city, if they don't have a ransomware plan, now they should have a specific ransomware recovery plan uh, in place by tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, if they don't have it already by this morning. Homestead exemption forms are not available on DCAD's website right now, but Jordan says that homeowners don't need to worry. They will be mailing out hard copies of the forms to all new homeowners in January when they also expect to have the website system resolved by then. Clarice.